You read the title. You're hearing it here first. You can see the picture on the screen. I will read it for the people who are a bit blind. Although Sucky and Eve are going to face some bumps in upcoming episodes, that Sucky's uh, first lover is coming into the show. Uh, the fact that the proposal has me excited at the prospect of a Panasar and Unwin wedding before the year or so. And then we have these lovely two photos of uh, our lovely, uh, I forget what they call her, and our lovely Heather. Wow. Our lovely Bal and our lovely Heather, as people have dubbed them. Um, not my words, the words of the EastEnders community. I guess. Yeah. Um, so obviously, what people have recently thought, and why would it be on the cards? Well, because they are genuinely in love. Um, and, but in these current scenes, as of oh, when's this coming out? Last week, Nish made a call or made a plea to find this woman called Aisha Sidhu, I believe is her name. Um, and this was. The woman who Suki fell in love with, and it is the wife of the husband, the wife of the husband, the wife of the man that Nish killed in a jealous rage back in the day. Um, so it is essentially bringing, it is bringing Suki's first true love back to the square, just as Suki and Eve are happy. Let's go. Let's fucking go. And I think it's a it's a really kind of it's a really cool way to do it because we obviously established that that was the first woman that Suki fell in love with. It, uh, it'll be really good. It'll be really exciting to see. And obviously, that's that's when this video comes out. It would have all taken place. I do uh, because I have to be having seen the episodes yet. Because we're, we're we're doing a break next week, which you people don't know about. Um. Obviously, like, I'm hoping we kind of, like, get the Astrid Lee from um, Wacky Racers, where he, like, file a plan, and he sits behind a bush waiting for the plan to happen, and then the plan fucks up in his face. It could blow up in his face. I want me sitting in a bush, and it's, oh, my plan's working well, Muttley, and, like, Ravi's Muttley, and he's like, oh, it's working well. And then, like, yeah. like we need to see other people, Sucky. Damn you, Muttley! <laughs> Damn you, Ravi! Oh, yeah, you know? yeah, I, that that genuinely feels like it's like it's gonna be because obviously Nish is gonna be there witnessing this. Is gonna be be the Eve like? Yeah, I mean, okay. see, I knew she didn't love me, but she really loved her, and she is the first one. And you know, it's quite hard to to move past your first true love, isn't it? Like just completely like antagonizing eve the entire way but I, just... I like a part of me hopes that they all just obviously it's been revealed that it's a guest in so she's not sticking around but a part of me just wants them all to like fucking dance around nish and just be like fuck you you tried you failed grow up it's just the fact that i want that skill where he's in the bush just he's with his binoculars <laughs> looking through the <laughs> He's just looking. He has his binoculars out looking, trying to look through the Panasaw window. And he's just, yeah. he's like, they're having violent sex, and it's like they're just having a cup of tea and like a sandwich. I think, I think, I, I know you loved me once, but I think we should see other people. And he's just like, <laughs> he's just like, <laughs> like, um, what was the, the, the guy from Home Alone where like he used to curse in all these roles, but they're like, he can't curse in Home Alone, so you have to just go. <laughs> The fucking the smaller lad, not the taller lad. Um, the villain. But yeah, I guess there's only nine comments, so we do have to kind of, you know. We, <laughs> we, 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 it's fine. I mean, we we can talk about the idea. I mean, I've been saying for a while now that I don't think Chris Clenshaw's been particularly good at telling a love story. Obviously, Suki and Eve is probably the biggest example of it. But obviously, Suki's been involved in stuff that's kind of greater than her relationship with Eve, with the stuff with Nish. Um, like, uh, I truly believe this will probably be a very wholesome, a very great wedding. And I do think that, I do think that he will buck the trend. Because look, all right, the amount of times in Soap where a char where gay characters get married and then in a couple of years one of them dies. Like, Coronation Street is probably the biggest example of this. Because... 
the amount of characters that are just that just get fucking murdered. It's like, oh, oh, Sophie and Sean, they're about to get married. And Sean leaves now and that, that's over. Oh, Sophie and Maddie, are they going to get together properly? Maddie dies now. Kate and Rana, they, they're finally getting married. They are day of the wedding day. Rana dies. Like, oh, fucking out. Neighbors, Aaron and fucking David. Fucking David dies. <laughs> The amount of the amount of like gay couples who have been fucking murked in soap is absurd. So I do believe that Chris Glanshaw will buck the trend, and I think that I do think that Suki and E will be together for a very long time. Um... Like if I was them, I would a hundred percent keep this keep these this pair together for years. Like um, till till because I don't see Suki ever leaving. I feel like Suki's a for lifer. She's in. She's been made one of the biggest characters on the show over the last couple of years. I think she's a for lifer. It just depends if obviously uh, Eve's actress decides to leave. But I do genuinely think that they are in it for keeps. I don't know why, but I do imagine like some people in real life. Think that they're an actual couple in real life is not enough because you know how the internet works. Um, but yeah, I, I, I love them together. Got old Heather and Bab. Uh, like they're playing characters. Yeah, but they look so cute. It's like I don't give a shit. I seen some beagles the other day. One of them was fat, and my dad turned to me and went, "Aha, son, that's you, you fat bastard." I was gonna be like, "Oh yeah, oh thanks, thanks." You know, it's the it's the exact same. There are two different people outside the show. Also, that is true. Because like, we have a, we have a neighbour in our area block who like walks the beagles around our back garden, like our our community lawn. Like, oh, they're so cute. Oh, actually, she, oh, one of them's just nice and plump. Oh, actually, should see him. Oh, it's, there's like four beagles. One, another one of our neighbours has a beagle. And she goes, oh, but yeah, um, yeah, he- Heather and Bab, uh, Sucky and Eve. Who's weird calling them Heather and Bab? I'm just thinking of the fucking internet. I don't community. like it. I don't like it, but... I see them as EastEnders characters. I see them That's as all they are to me. I just see them as EastEnders characters, but I do find it funny whenever I read Reddit and it's like, oh, good old Heather and Bal, oh, lovely, 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 lum, lum, lum. Um, but I'm going to read some Reddit comments. Probably the entire thread. Um, so, obviously, uh, Sucky, uh, Sucky waiting on the cards, uh... Married woman, married woman, house. Chris Clenshaw, please don't spoil the moment. Everyone wants to see a sucky Eve wedding. Uh, make it happen. Uh, okay. Agreed. I spoiler tag that, my friend. I know I think that, I know I think this year or even early next year would be way too soon. Even if next next week's offends lead to Eve finding out about the six, it's way too soon for that. Eve will definitely likely go for the first successful woman on woman wedding. I think that's. I think it's. I think it's time saying woman loving lesbian. I could be wrong. Woman loving woman wedding, uh, with them, but hopefully. Uh, oh, a woman loving woman, yeah. What did I say? Woman. No, I said something weird. Uh, but hopefully they give her a proper time. But a proper long argument, maybe I don't think Sucky will accept uh, Eve's rash proposal next week, and she shouldn't. I think it really should. Uh, it really should be Sucky who proposes when the time is right. Thank you, I just marked it. Um, I put the likelihood of, uh, of Sucky accepting Eve's proposal at about 5%. The likelihood of Sucky letting Eve down gently about 30% for the extra angst of mine. Do I see it happening at some point? Probably, but I really need to be Sucky doing the proposing. Firstly, because she's always dictated at the, the pace of the relationship for multiple reasons. Secondly, because she's always being the one to back out, being the one to actively commit works. Both for her narrative journey and his woefully untapped narrative around the family and family. I just didn't realise that even the show is like a lost po- is like a dog who's just been abandoned. Yeah. Or like a ch- or like the or as or as his narrative, the child with the suitcase. One day I can put this suitcase away. One day. Not um, today. But Christmas or a fair wedding. Eve's still married, so if there is a wedding on the cards, it would be something uh, at some point, it probably wouldn't be this year. I've got Eve's married. Uh, love wins. Hope not. Boring couple. 
my man. That's my Reddit. That's my fucking. That's my fucking. That's my comment. Um, I don't. I. I do. I do disagree though. I do think that Suki and Eve actually are a that they are a genuinely like wholesome couple, okay. and you know it's not being like exploited for needless drama. They are just two. They are just women who are in love with each other, and I think it's important to have because not every couple like like you know what happened with fucking Balam. Where it's like, ah, oh, are they just happy to be to be together? Nah, Ben's struggling with a lot. Like, and obviously Ben did have a lot of trauma, and that Bowden Ben was like, I I'm living every single piece of trauma I've ever had, which would obviously make someone completely miserable. But it is very nice to see Suki and Eve genuinely be happy together. So that's yeah. And we we got two night. Uh, one of them I've seen. Um, it's not not a so nice comment, uh, which it's all right. You're allowed to have your opinions. I'm not going to start saying yeah. he's homophobic. He's allowed to have his opinions. He's not yeah, homophobic. Yeah, he just says he doesn't like him. Uh, fuck these two. Do my head right in, man. Uh, what has all right, that? what's that? What's that, one? Worst <laughs> coupling ever. All right, fucking, I thought... fucking nerd from The Simpsons. <laughs> How the fuck guy? Worst. Yeah, yeah. Worst. Coupling. Worst. Coupling ever. It's fucking. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think so. I personally think Whitney and Zach, they're not the worst ever. They're, there's a lot of worse couples than this. Um, But yeah, I do I think that there will be a wedding this year? I don't think so. I think we're, we're a bit too top heavy at the end of the year. I could easily see there being one next year. Like, I, that's, I, that's how I'd argue. Obviously, I don't really want them to rush into things. Like, you can gradually build to this. Um, but, yeah, we'll see. I also I just had the thought up for the, for the last few seconds. So, I guess, uh, anything you want to say, if they are getting married, anything you want to say, anything you want to propose, like, the idea for the wedding, like, they might listen to this. I mean, if it's even remotely similar to the renewing their, like, Nishin Suki renewing their vows... I think it would be a really cool way to kind of incorporate both cultures. Um, and I think it would be really wholesome if it's something even... Like, if they just ha have a nice blend of, between, like, ease, like, northern charm versus, like, fucking Suki's, like, religion and her background. Like, I think it would be a, a great celebration. Oh, I fucking lads want air up there, lad. Fucking hell. Um, but yeah, I, I propose that you get a chocolate fondue for the wedding. Invite me and Ash, uh, please. Invite all the YouTubers that who cover. I will. I will attend. Yeah, invite all of us who actually like cover your 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 stories, Chris Clenshaw, like us, like Talking Walford, like uh, Walford after Soap that. Study. Soap study. Yeah, we are. We're all invited. I, I, fuck it, it, I know it's not going to happen, but imagine it was true. Just, just, just like you're sitting there, but like you're, you're ma, or I'm sitting there with my dad, and the wedding happens, and it's like, oh, Father, Father, look, look, Father, look, there I am, look, there I am in the back corner, look, look at me. And just like, I'm on TV. <laughs> Redo the scene. Fuck. But yeah, there you go. Uh, that's 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 a lovely ending to the video. Hope you guys enjoy. If we're invited to the wedding, you're invited as well. Happy New Year, Happy Christmas, Happy Easter, Happy Halloween. <laughs>